Well, hello, friends. It's good to be with you today. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Take 5. We are in the series that we've entitled The Faithful Steward, and we're trying to learn how that this connects together with our giving. Giving and stewardship have to be intertwined. We've, we've learned that. You really can't do one without the other one. They are each essential. Either one of them is good by their self, but they're incomplete without the other. And so stewardship is something that we need to learn. And we need to also grasp the fact that that's really what God created us for is to be stewards. And I think we'll have a little clarity uh, after today when we look at something all the way back into the book of Genesis from the very beginning. Now, yesterday we determined that God owns everything. There's nothing that exists that God doesn't own. He owns you. He owns me. He owns everything that we think we own. We end up just being stewards of it. God owns it all. Everything in this world, the earth is the Lord and everything that's in it, it all belongs to him. And that leaves us not owners, but stewards or managers. Now that's what uh, you know, the word steward is synonymous for is, is the word manager. So you might want to think of a manager of a company. You know, the manager doesn't really own it all himself. He's just responsible to make wise decisions on how to care for the company. He's been entrusted with the responsibility of properly handling something that belongs to someone else. That's, that's really our purpose from beginning to end of life. That's our purpose to steward the things of God couple of quick definitions and thoughts about stewardship. Number one, it is the management of the affairs and resources of another. It means to protect and expand the resources of another. Please notice, if you will, that the steward never reaches that place of owner status. We have the responsibility and the privilege of protecting and expanding the resources of someone else. Number three, stewardship is a conferred trust and confidence. That means it's given to us, but it also presents many opportunities for dishonesty and waste. That's where a lot of us fall down in the area of stewardship is that area of dishonesty and waste because God has entrusted us with the resources that we have, whatever they are. And, and, and the first thing that would be good is to stop comparing them to somebody else's but the resources that you have, whatever they are, God's entrusted you with them. And that also presents opportunities for you to be dishonest and for you to be wasteful. And that's what God's looking at. And that's going to determine what God can trust us with in the future. And fourthly, you need to know this about stewardship. The privilege of stewardship only lasts as long as your trustworthiness and faithfulness. Once you can no longer be trustworthy and faithful, then you will not be a steward of the things of God. He will not commit things into your care. 1 Corinthians 4.2 says, Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. That's what God is looking for. Faithfulness in stewardship. Faithfulness in properly using and utilizing and obeying him with the resources that he owns that he has entrusted into our care. You see, God has this management company that's called mankind. That's what he created mankind uh, to do. Our purpose from the very beginning was to manage what he owns. When you go all the way back to Genesis 1, on the sixth day, God created all the animals. And lastly, he created man. And these words were recorded. God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. There it is right there. Put them in charge of. Give them stewardship over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said to them, now he's given them some more instructions. The owner has given more instructions to the steward. And he says, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have diminish, uh, dominion excuse me, over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So their purpose there was to steward the earth. That's what God put them there to do. He's the owner and he puts mankind in it to be a good steward. 
Well, you don't have to read very far and you find out that Adam and Eve soon failed in their stewardship and mankind has really been failing in being a good steward ever since. And, and mankind is falling today for the same reason that Adam fa and Eve failed then. It's because we want owner status and we don't want anybody to tell us what to do with what we have. We want that owner status instead of just being willing to be a steward of God's property. When God put Adam and Eve in the garden and he gave them all those instructions, he said, now there's this tree in the garden that uh, you can never eat from, that tree of knowledge of good and evil. Don't ever eat from that. If you do, the day you do, you'll surely die. And uh, they just, they didn't believe him. And, and Eve was hanging around that tree, you know, like most folks want to do today, stay as close to the world as they can and stay as close to sin as they can. And that's what she was doing. And Satan tempted her and said, now Eve, did God really say that? I don't think you, you're going to actually die. But God knows this, that when you eat of that, your eyes will be open and you'll be like God. You'll be an owner like him. You'll be in control. You'll be calling the shots like God. And that's exactly what she and Adam both did. And, and God moved them or removed them rather from the garden. He took that away from them. That that he had given them to steward, he took away from them that day because they could not be trusted. All the resources of the world, of this new creation, God had entrusted to Adam and Eve. And on that day, because they said, hey, we don't want to be told what to do. We want our own stuff and we want to do it our way on that very day, God removed them from all of that stuff and took away the resources he had given them because he could no longer trust them to be steward. What do you say, friend? Let's learn something about this stewardship and let's recognize our place in God's kingdom and let's be the stewards that he has called us to be. He's entrusted us with resources. He's entrusted us with finances. He's entrusted us with possessions. So let's use them according to his command. If he says don't, let's don't. If he says do, let's do. Let's be the stewards. Let him be the manager. And when we combine stewardship with our giving and our generosity, we can truly walk in the abundance that God intends for us to have and meet the needs of people that God has for us to meet. Well, hey, I've got to get out of here today. It's been good being with you. I look forward to being with you tomorrow on Thursday's edition of Take 5. Till then, God bless you. Have a great day. Remember, friend, trust the Lord. He will never fail you.